Hello, wild ones. Come join me for two nights alone in the wild. Nope. What you're about to see here is one night alone in the wild, followed by the uncomfortable realization that I'm up in the mountains with an injury and then a slow and painful hobble back to my car. This is gonna be fun. Oh dear. You know, I was due a bad one, to be fair. Oh, never mind, eh? So before I'd even started filming, when I had just donned my rucksack and was only a few meters from my car, I twisted my ankle. Now this is a real common occurrence for me, but this one really hurt. But as the minutes passed, the pain subsided and I walked a little way and nothing. So I figured maybe I was just having a wonky, low pain threshold kind of day or something. And on I went into the mountains, walking on uneven ground with 17 kilos on my back on a torn ligament. I don't know that I'm injured yet because the initial pain was severe enough to flood my system with lovely endorphins. Nature's painkiller. So I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a Darwin award for this one. I should have realized what was happening and gone back to my car, but I didn't. So come join me and cringe along as I unknowingly batter my injured ankle. Oh yeah, I did it. And only realized too late what I've done. But I suppose if I'm gonna get a Darwin Award, what a place to get it. Hey guys, it is mid-September and I'm here in this beautiful quiet corner of the mountains to spend some time in the wild. And uh, it's pretty late in the day already. It's around seven o'clock, I think. And I think the sun will actually be setting in not too long. So a bit of a mad one today, a bit of a mad month actually. I haven't come far at all, but I think this will do absolutely fine for night one. What do you reckon? It's not bad, is it? Right, let me stick this tent up and I'll see you in a bit. Look at that. I've got my hilly today because the forecast is all over the place. But it's lovely at the moment, so I think while it's nice, I'm gonna hop in there because it looks absolutely beautiful. And then we'll have some tea. And I'm hoping I'm gonna see some stars tonight, the Milky Way. Hopefully the sky will clear a little bit. Oh, it is so nice to be out here. What a pitch. Whew. Right. I'm not full dunking tonight when it's about to get dark, but I might in the morning. Oh look, got friends there. Hi friends. Right, let's get toasty. I am all set up in here, nice and cozy. I've got my summer sleep system on the go tonight, which might be the last time I get to use it being mid-September, but I think it'll be all right tonight. I'm not expecting it to go below 10 degrees, so. It should be okay. And we're pitched at about 280 meters elevation here, I think. Absolutely beautiful. Although I can't see very much now. It's getting really dark. There's a lot of cloud cover at the moment, so I don't know if I'm gonna get my stars, but you never know. New bit of gear today. These cool new laces, look, because I'm always breaking my laces. So I got some extra strong, really tough laces that are supposed to be pretty indestructible, but I'm quite good at destroying things, so we'll see how that goes. I've got a lovely chilli for my tea tonight, so I'm gonna have that soon and just settle down and have a nice relaxing night. I'm so excited to just be out here and have no alarm and have no phone signal and just chill and relax and listen to the wind and the sheep the sun behind the tent still i can hear them walking around on the rocks <laughs> oh it is so dark out there it's a new moon tonight which is why i was hoping to see the stars but ah oh, ah oh, there's so many whirly gigs in here ah! oh my god apologies for that there are about 10 whirly gigs in here, all dive bombing up my face. 
I think they like my little light here. So they've been evicted now and I've shut up shop to keep them out. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yes, it's so dark because it's a new moon, which is why I was hoping to get the Milky Way tonight because the stars will look absolutely beautiful, but got full cloud coverage at the moment. So it doesn't look like it's gonna happen tonight, but maybe tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna get to bed, have me a nice sleep and we'll decide in the morning what to do. I did twist my ankle earlier before I'd even got my trekking pole out. I twisted my ankle and it was quite a bad one. It's not really swollen or anything like that, but I'm not gonna be able to go far on it. So I'll see in the morning how it is. I'll make a little plan. It's raining. I love that noise. morning wild ones it is a beautiful morning a bit breezy uh, i managed to see some stars last night not the whole sky but little patches and they were so bright and so beautiful so that was lovely i've had about six hours of sleep i think uh, but unfortunately i'm injured um, my ankle is quite swollen and painful now which is weird because yesterday when I initially did it, it really hurt and I thought oh god that's a bad one and then it sort of seemed to just go away so yeah I don't know what happened there but um yeah I can't do any more with it the way it is so I'm gonna have to pack up here and I've got, only got about a kilometer to get back to the car but a kilometer with a busted ankle might seem like quite a way so uh, I'm gonna take you guys with me for company sorry about that This, by the way, is why you always carry a personal locator beacon of some kind. Um, I've been able to talk to my friend this morning, despite having no reception, let him know what's going on. Um, and if I needed to call for help in an emergency, I could do that. I can send people my location uh, and I could be rescued if I had a serious injury. Of course, I don't need to do that now, but you just never know. It's really, really important to carry one of those. Oh, you know, I was due a bad one, to be fair. Never mind, eh? So I have strapped up my ankle and I've taken some painkillers and some anti-inflammatories. So I'm gonna give that half hour to start working uh, and then start thinking about packing up and getting out of here. <sighs> this is gonna be fun. Right, all packed up, we can get on our way now. Look at that though, this place is gorgeous. I'm gonna come back here. So the way I came in, I came in from over there and I had to jump over some water. I can't jump now, so I'm gonna try and make a way across these stone walls. I guess that's like a dam. Uh, let's see if that'll get me over the water a bit. And then we've got a one kilometre hobble very slowly back to the car. I need to really try not to let my ankle collapse again because that could be pretty catastrophic. Yeah, I think this will be okay. Oh, there's like Mordor or something up there. As this video goes out, it's three weeks later, I'm still healing and I found out that I've developed a chronic instability in my right ankle. I've just injured it too many times now and it collapses on me every single time I go out. Nice and easy. <sighs> Hopefully I'll be able to get off this at the other end. Oh yeah. Look, it's perfect. He's all the way back down. 
So I'm waiting for physio and for the time being, when I'm in the mountains, I'll be wearing this sexy brace on my ankle to stop it turning until I find out if it can be strengthened or not. But because of the injury, I stayed local to film my next video and I ended up ticking off something from my bucket list. A night out in a thunderstorm. I love it! Which was something I've been wanting to experience for years. Anyway, thanks for watching this little mess adventure. I hope all is well with you, that your day is bright and your night is cosy. I'll see you soon, wild ones. Right, we're getting there. Look, there's Landy down there. Hi, Landy. I'm coming. I'm on my way.